Guys, you know, when we're out and about, you, you, you already know, we're about to serve you fresh, new, yeah. necessary content. Yeah. Exciting. Yeah. This is Excel Live. She is Loa. I am Lama. And we're out and about. Out and about. And this time we are out and about on your behalf. Anyone who is considered to be maybe from grade 8 to grade 12, maybe you just want to stand up and listen a little closely because this news might just excite you. You have a facial recognition outside the premises. So in order for you to even step into the school, the camera over there needs to recognize your face. As you can see, Lama is suffering currently because it's saying it's not finding his face. So how about we go inside and find out what this school of the future is all about? Exactly. It's time to stop talking and actually get to learning. Let's go! Ladies and gentlemen, I know me and Lama said a lot of things in the intro, like it's an online learning, you can study uh, abroad, like there's so many things that we mentioned, you're like, ah, Nandile, it's a bit too good to be true. Well, darlings, I have someone here who's going to be explaining a little further on what Valencia Institute is, and it's actually going to be explaining all the deep, needy details that you probably want to know. So we have the principal right next to me, who is Rick Greener, who has started this beautiful, incredible institute. Welcome, and thank you for joining us. Shandili, thank you very much. Thank you for hosting us, and uh, I'm in, in looking forward to this experience. Listen, I've told my viewers quite a lot, and I'm sure they're pretty excited to hear more about Valencia Institute. So what if I've never heard of Valencia Institute? What is it? Oh, perfect. Uh, Valencia Institute is an online, globally recognized uh, in institute which offers a high school. The experience is completely online in yeah. our core curriculum. And uh, it is a, a way in a place where you can interact still socially and you can engage with the materials that we have for you. Right. And most of our viewers are probably thinking, well, I was thinking at first, I mean, we're in a pandemic, I'm studying online anyway, so why should I come here other than just sitting at home and maybe doing my studies at home? Ah, oh, well, you could do your studies at home, okay. but it wouldn't be the same. Okay. So, uh, tease me, what are some of the advantages of coming to Valencia Institute? Oh, well, if you were sitting at home, you would have uh, material that would be a textbook, or maybe something that's online. With us at Valencia, we have interactive materials. So the materials that we produce, very carefully designed, yeah. are there to engage you. So you're reading the material, but you're also answering questions. When you're in a live session, the teacher's engaging you. You're in group sessions where you talk together. Right. They'll have fun together. So it's, a, it's an environment, just like a school, yeah. but you're online and you're not sitting alone at home. Actually, some of the things that are most memorable for me in school was when I was out with my friends during break time. So how are we going to make sure that we keep that social aspect alive where we're not depriving kids of being with other students, making sure that they're still having fun, but still, most importantly, learning and being able to go study abroad? I think one of the common misconceptions about learning online is then you're on your own. Yeah. At Valencia, that's not the case. We design it so that you are going to be socially interacting with other people. Mm. Um, and one of the things about this generation of people is that they are technologically with it yeah. and they want to socialize tech, uh, in a tech way. My own kids would go to a party and then they get uh, their WhatsApp uh, going and they're communicating and socializing in that way. So we're just taking that kind of concept and saying, well, let's put this into education mm. and let's see how we can make this work. So our live lessons, as I mentioned, have interactivity in yeah. it and then they're in groups and they're talking together about the work. Mm. They also, the teachers will in let them interact uh, in a social way and they'll have fun questions and things to do. They can interact in uh, what we call an office hours, which is right. where they can book time with a teacher and there's, uh, it can be in small groups. We have our mentors that run a program called a Learning Compass program and they're in smaller groups there getting to know each other and socializing. And clubs and societies we've got as well, yeah. make and bake and you can get together and, and do stuff there. And just because we're online also doesn't mean to say that we're not going to get together in person. Okay. So we're going to look to see where people are in a geographical area yeah. and get them together in that particular area to either socialize or go on outings as well. Mm. So we're trying to make this as socially rich as possible. And one of the key things that I think can make this so unique is the fact that you are doing a curriculum that's not just recognized in South Africa, but in generally the world. Can we just dive into that? What makes a Valencia Institute so special where you can actually physically go study abroad and you get recognized abroad? Oh, perfect, yes. So the, we, we follow the Pearson Ed Excel curriculum, and that is a curriculum that is a UK based, so it has a, a, a strong foundation. That foundation teaches students how to be 
uh, independent learners and also teaches them how to think with what we call higher order thinking skills. Universities around the world recognize that sort of level and quality and, and it realize that it really prepares them very well for their tertiary education and so I'm very happy to accept students with that qualification. All right, so someone's watching then they're like, they've always wanted to go to Harvard. Would Harvard recognize me if I was to pass really well? Oh yeah, Harvard. Are you serious? Yes. Guys, this is your opportunity to go to Harvard. Okay, I couldn't do it, but you can do it. Now, something that was very interesting that had me thinking, mm, would I actually do it, is it's from grade eight to grade 13. Talk me through that, because I know most people will be like, whoa, 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 I'm not trying to do another year. Why is it so important to have that extra year to make sure you qualify? So you don't need that extra year if you're in South Africa. You can just go to grade uh, 12 equivalent, and uh, you can qualify and get your matriculation exemption that way. If you wish to study overseas, quite often they will require that 13th year, so you can do that 13th year, and then you qualify for those uh, overseas universities. I actually didn't know that. Now, if you want to go overseas, ladies and gentlemen, this is the institution for you. Another thing I want to find out is, okay, let's say I've been accepted. What is the first day? What's the process like? Do I have to come in here and do I study around the people that are here or can I study at home? What does my year look like? What does the curriculum look like for me as a, as a student? Okay, so we've got two offerings. One is our core curriculum, which is where you study at home. And then we've got these boutique campuses where you can come and study with other people. Um, and if it's... Uh, online in the core curriculum, you will go through what we call a general orientation course where you get familiarized with what needs to happen uh, in this in learning environment, how it works, uh, how do you log on here, how do you submit your uh, assignments, you meet your teachers, you have little sessions with them as well. So we teach you all about how you operate in this environment and then you start with your lessons. You've got your timetable and your learning plan and you go through that week by week. So that's how that will operate there. In a boutique campus, yeah. you're doing exactly the same thing, but you're with other people here. Right. So you can just lean across to somebody and say, hey, did you, we're doing this, how do we swim? Okay, oh, I can get it. Right. You can have a little chat, uh, break times, come down to the social area, and you can have a, have a chat and, and socialize together. Right. And I am just, I'm tempted to say we're moving into a very tech-savvy world where literally everything is on social media, technology, to some degree. Do you feel like online learning is the future for the world in general, not just for South Africa, but for the world in general, especially with the pandemic? I mean, I won't lie, we've been forced to kind of be a social, uh, I mean, a tech age, but do you think that's the future, even if the coronavirus were to leave our, our world? I think one of the lessons that we've learned from the coronavirus is it's shown that online learning is a viable and effective alternative. Mm -hmm. Things were heading in that general direction anyway, and this has just accelerated it. People have realized, well, we have to go online, and actually, this can work. Yeah. And actually, this can work quite well, if it's done well. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's not done well, people have had bad experiences and don't like it, but if it's done well and structured well, then it can be a very positive uh, experience. And what better way to teach people than getting the, the best teachers to teach so many people around the world. We could get the best teachers around the world. We can get professors from university to come in and teach particular concepts to as many people as you want. I because think it's all, all available. That is one of the advantages, the fact that all these people are on screen, so therefore they don't have to be in this country. Can, they can literally be the best from Russia, the best from the UK. Absolutely, yeah. Fantastic, because you, you are getting the best of wherever you want, of the people that you want around the world. Um, and, it's, and it's enriching, and I mean, look at, the, look at YouTube and all these dozens of all sorts of things that are on there, You're sifting through all, the, all that material. There's some really great things there. Here we've got an opportunity to say online learning, we can actually funnel all that and structure it for you, and you've got the best teaching happening right on your laptop. All right, and so if, Someone is watching there, maybe they're in grade seven, they're like, I am considering this highly. What are some of the last words that you would let them know to be like, this should sell you automatically? I mean, guys, personally, I can tell you, it looks beautiful. I mean, you can go to Harvard. <laughs> and there's so many other different things, but what, what can you tell someone who's out there who's saying, okay, I'm highly considering this, should I come? They're literally like 90% in there. They just need that 10% convincing to come. Do you want to wear a school uniform? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> that should convince you, ladies and gentlemen. I, I used to get so excited when I didn't have to wear a school uniform. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Lamely Moon will be catching up with someone else a little bit later on. But right now, though, we're going to link to an ad break, and I'll see you after this. Thank you so much for chatting to us. Thanks. Enjoyable. Thanks. Yes. <laughs>